Sin is believing. But how many times do you need to see something in order to believe that you can walk into your greatness? See, oftentimes this is a lot. Oftentimes it's more than what we think. Oftentimes, most of the times, it's more than we expect. See, when you get to when you get exposed to something, you can't go back and say, I haven't seen this, I haven't saw this, I haven't experienced this. See, exposure creates a new level of growth, a new level of experience, a new level of belief. But see, what's happening is that we don't believe we deserve the success that we can create for ourselves. But oftentimes it's seeing to believe in order to believe what we can do. Sometimes, most of the times, all the time, we have to see in our head in order to see, okay, who are we and what, what do we want to become? Oftentimes, we only know what we've been around. We only know and understand and see our environment. Oftentimes, we have to open our environment and learn something new to see and understand and learn what we can, be, what we can become. But we can't become successful if we don't understand what success is. Oftentimes, success is what you create and understand within your life. Success is understanding that you matter more than you think. Success is saying, I am here today. Where am I trying to go tomorrow? Excuse me. Oftentimes in life, we have to understand what we know today is only because of our environment and what we currently learn. Oftentimes, the best way to learn is to learn from somebody that's already experienced. So when you learn it from somebody that's already experienced, now you're able to see how far then it came. See, we have to get exposed to new information, right? And here's why I'm saying this, because new information open our minds up to what we can become. New information teaches and shows us like, okay, there's more to life than what I think it is. When I was in the military, I didn't know I would be here today because I just started. I just believed. I didn't, I, I, I didn't see what success was, but I understood success comes from the journey. But the journey gets, gets created after you start. But starting is the most difficult because we don't know how to. The camera angle is not too good. The volume isn't bad. It, the volume is bad, which means you hear a lot of echo in the background. I'm not that good. I'm not that perfect. But yet at the same time, when do I start? I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm going to start the next day. I'm going to start next week. I'm going to start next month. I'm going to start next year. See, all this starting and pushing away, we don't understand. The sooner you start, this is when you begin to fail. And you begin to fail because you, we don't know, we don't know how, how to pick ourselves back up. But see, failure is the best thing that can happen because you learn more about yourself. So for the next 25 minutes, I'm going to be speaking about why, why, why learning new information is so important to your success. Because it's going to help you down the line in order to see what you can become. First off, you have to expand what you're learning. I had to leave my comfort zone to expand what I wanted to learn. And, and when I joined the military, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I didn't understand the structure, the mentality, the language, the, 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 the games that they played. Not just the games, but how you actually develop, not only as a Marine, but as a person. But see, what's happening is that I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to, what, what to, what to hope for because I haven't been exposed to this type of environment. I wasn't, I, I didn't grow up there. I, I grew up playing football, but football is completely different from the military because in the military, it, it's really, to be honest, it's not, it's not that, that much of a difference. The football is just like the military. It's structure, it's organization, it's a team, it's building, it's growth. But when I understood the team aspect, when I went to the military, I'm like, oh, it's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. You have different people at different levels that that's in control of who you of, of of you. But see, the thing is that when we are so comfortable with our present, our future gets stopped because we don't know how to get uncomfortable. We have to be comfortable being uncomfortable because this is where the best lesson is learned from. See. What's happening is that when you see new information, when you see a new environment, when you see something that you have never experienced before, your mind doesn't go back to, to what it was before you seek this knowledge. Okay, I'm gonna get some water real quick. I'm gonna get some water right here, hold on. I had to get some water because it, it's, it's some game being dropped. It's some game being dropped. Seeing to believe 
is believing that there is more. I remember when I was when I was going through. So I joined the military back in 2018, and when I joined, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect. They, we, we went to, <laughs> it was a whole process, okay? We went to, no, nah, when we went, when we arrived in, in, in California, everybody was just sitting down talking. I remember this day like it was yesterday. Everybody was sitting talking. And then the drill instructor came and he was like, everybody lined up. So everybody got up in line and then got in the vehicles and then went over there. Mind you, this is something new. I've never experienced it. I, I, was, I wasn't in junior ROTC, nor was I, I didn't think I was going to the military, but it happened so fast that I couldn't even change my mind, nor did I want to. But it was like, okay, what's here? First off, it's really uncomfortable. It, it is really uncomfortable. So if anybody hasn't done any military service, it is the most uncomfortable thing that you will go through in the boot camp phase. Because the boot camp phase, you have to go through so much processing in order to start your training. <laughs> right? We had a whole week to, to, for them to process us. And by processing us, it, it actually saying getting the paperwork right, getting our medical records, getting our shop records, getting our dental records, getting everything that we need to have to be organized while we're there for the next three months. And, and, and it was annoying, okay? It, it wasn't that bad for me, but it was annoying. But I, I understood, I learned that these are different people from different parts of the world. What I did when I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, I can't do the same thing with well, correction. What I did in Little Rock, Arkansas is not the same as in California with everybody combined that has been raised in different areas of life. So people are coming together that never met, in, met before, but we have to learn how to adapt to each other for the next three months. And when I tell you it's a challenge because <laughs> most people are not raised like you was raised, which I, speaking for my, my, my instance, okay, most people wasn't raised from how I was raised. So I have to learn that everybody is not, we're, we're all working towards something, okay? We're all working towards something, but what is it something? There's something is to become a, a Marine. And when I understood, I'm like, oh, there's a process behind this. I have to go to phase one, which is boot camp. Okay, cool. Now I have to do the three months. Once I do the three months, now I go to the next and the next phase and the next phase and the next phase and the next phase. And I'm saying this because the, the language that I'm using for the military term, terminology is going to be confusing. And I learned the best thing that I learned is that when you start and you get uncomfortable, being comfortable becomes understandable because you have to do things that you don't like to do. See, seeing, seeing, seeing to believe is showing you that there's more. What is more? More is saying that I believe in myself so much, I'm gonna do something different that I've never done before. I'm gonna do, I'm a, I believe in myself because I know I can do more, but I don't know what more is, so let me get myself and put myself out here in uncomfortable situations. So. When you're able to grow from uncomfortable positions, uncomfortable situations, uncomfortable environments, this is when you find and become the best version of yourself. I had to learn what the best version of myself was because I had to take the time to learn who I was. See, I started working on myself in August of 2020. Remember, I joined in, in, in October of 2018, but I started working on myself August of 2020. And see, when I started working on myself, I knew there was more but how can I get more if I haven't learned what more is? Okay, there, there, <laughs> there's a process. I didn't know this process was real. I'm thinking, okay, how am I seeing everybody else successful? What, what is the secret? What is the secret that, what is the secret sauce that everybody has that, that, that is successful? What am I missing? What am I missing? I had to learn I was missing experience. Right. When I started in August of 2020, I believed that I was going to be a millionaire by September of 2020. September came. I was not a millionaire. I didn't understand what you needed to do in order to become this certain status or, or to have this certain revenue, to have this certain profit or to have this certain money. You can't wake up a millionaire if you haven't developed into the person to make a million dollars. Just because I had an idea doesn't mean the idea was going to come to reality. See, but, but I believed it. I believed it because I started learning about real estate. And I was hearing that other people was becoming millionaires. 
I'm like, oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna be a millionaire. I guess I'm gonna be a millionaire. But what sparked the belief, what sparked the change, what sparked the growth was something that I was experiencing deep down inside. If you're watching this video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you leave a comment and, 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 and explain what you're seeing and how can you believe that you can walk into your, your journey. See, before it started, this is what happened. Me and my, me and my ex-wife was, was married at the time. It was a paycheck to pay, pay, paycheck to paycheck. And 80% of the population lives paycheck to paycheck. So I was used to that. I was comfortable doing, okay, we, let, we, we're surviving, okay, we, we're good, we're going to be okay, we all right, we okay, we okay. But I didn't know the world was on top of my shoulders because I was trying to provide for myself, for my ex-wife at the time, and for us together. She was doing her part, I was doing my part, but it was like the weight was just all, all, it was just on top of me. It felt like I wasn't doing nothing right. My, I had a, B, a 2013 BMW and the car kept being in the shop day, week after week after week after week. And it put me in a depression state because I'm like, what is going on? Why is you not fixing this car if I'm paying you X amount of money per week? I can't afford this. We can't afford this. And it got to the point to where I was, I was taking so much in, I didn't know how to release it or control it because the world became, the world was on top of my shoulders. And what, what I mean by the world was on top of my shoulders is that I felt like everything was just piling on top of each other in order to learn, okay, this is what you're doing, this is how you can develop, but how do you overcome something like that? And my name was this song called Cool. We ain't gotta worry about no money. I forgot the words. I forgot the words. But that one part, um, I heard that song and I started crying. When I started crying, I said, huh, I guess I'm trying to worry about too many things all at once. I guess I'm trying to, I guess I'm trying to overwhelm myself by trying to do things that I don't know how to do. But see, I had to have a hard truth with myself. I had to actually identify that for myself. See, I had to see it to believe that pain is real, but pain didn't come until the depression phase was there. But the depression phase was there because it was something that taught me more, taught me a lot. Hello, I'm making this video right quick. I'm gonna call you right back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to see where y'all was at. Oh, uh. uh yeah, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I don't, you call Tim? I'm gonna call him now. All right, call him and then text me. And then mm -hmm. once I get done with the video, I'll call you. Mm -hmm. All right. That was my brother. That was my brother. Man, in fact, my first time answering the phone online. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. I'm, I always wanted to, I always want to do that. Just to, just to show people that I'm real, you know, um... And, and you can do it as well. So I had to see the depression. I had to feel the, 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 the depression. I remember one time my ex-wife was driving, driving my car. And mind you, I had a 2013 BMW. And if you got a foreign car, oh. If, it, if it's not a new foreign car, okay. <sighs> You're going to have a lot of troubles. At least I did. At least I did. Oh, it, it was just so, so much wrong with that car. But I remember, I remember my ex-wife, she was driving a car. Excuse me. And she called me. She was like, to real, the car just shut down. I said, what you mean? She said, the car just stopped running. I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. I don't, I, I, I don't know how to fix that. I don't know how to fix that. Um, I, I, think, I think we called a mechanic or we turned it off or turned it back on or something. But it taught me, I'm like, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing? Am I doing anything wrong? And once I realized I was just learning how to adapt to the to the to what was given to me, how to grow from it, how to learn from it, it really it really taught me that you can't always be good in life. Bad is gonna come, but how do you handle and control the bad situation that's there presented in front of you? It's like it's like the yin yin yang. You can't have black without white. You can't have good without bad. You can't have control without understanding. You can't have success without seeing. You can't have 
belief without starting. See, everything ties together, okay? Everything ties together. But when I understood that, I'm like, oh, what is here? Am I the one that's hard on myself? Because life isn't at the way, life is not the way that I think it's going to go. So I suppose, I suppose to be overwhelmed with the process. But the best thing that I learned was that me being uncomfortable taught me that it was going to be okay because it showed me when I have belief, I'm able to see how far I came. I'm able to see the good from the bad. I'm able to see and identify there's something here minus what's hurting me. I was depressed. I was, I was depressed without even knowing I was depressed. So how can you pick yourself back up when you don't even know how to, how to understand what's going on? The best thing my ex-wife ever told me, ever told me to this day, I remember so, so, so vaguely. I asked her, why you don't care about money? Why you not tripping about the amount of money we got? She was like, because we got each other. I said, oh, okay. I, I, I guess I'm stressing myself out to make something for us when I'm just, you know, I'm trying to, I, I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to change our life, but our life ain't been changed because I don't know how to start. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the experience or the confidence or the communication or the skills or the, or the understanding. I don't have none of that. But the best thing I did was start. Because when I started, that's when the bad start to appear and it taught me how to handle the bad with the good. Why am I saying this? Because I had to see the bad in order to believe that the good exists on the other side of what's happening in front of us. How can you stop the bad from happening? You can't. You absolutely can't. You don't want to stop the bad. You want to learn from your, from what's making you sad, what's making you depressed, what's making you overwhelmed. You want to learn from this setting, from this emotional state to learn more about yourself. But I was learning about myself without even identifying why I'm learning who I am. But I believe there was more because I heard it. I was listening to different videos. I stopped listening to music that wasn't really talking about nothing. I stopped listening to, to music that just had profanity and, and the way they disrespected women. I stopped listening to that. I started listening to different podcasts. A podcast is an interview when they interview professionals talking about a, 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 a specific topic, a specific industry, a specific goal, a specific, a, a, a specific emotion. A podcast is an interview section to where two people are con conversing amongst each other and, 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 and one is getting to know one story, okay? So I start learning about a real estate podcast. I start watching. I start listening to it. I start learning more. As I'm waking up in the morning and I'm driving to work, I'm putting a podcast, a real estate podcast on, trying to learn about real estate, trying to be organized, trying to do more, trying to change my life, trying to get that million dollars. But the best thing that happened for me was that I started because I knew more was to come. Now, I'm not saying when you start, you're going to have all the answers. That's not what I'm saying at all. But when you're starting, you're able to see things that, that would have never been presented if you would, would always push it away. And when you start, you see the answers. You, and it's crazy. When I was in school, I was a horrible test taker. Not even school. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I was. I wasn't a best horrible t uh, test taker, but I wasn't that good. But I'm not gonna use that example. I'm using me driving. My driver's test. My driving test on a, the electronic. I took my driving electronic test five times and I failed four. The first time I went in, I, I'm like, okay, cool. My mom woke me up, son. Let's go. Let's go get our driver's license. Let's go. Let's go take the test. Let's, let's go take the the, the the driver's test or the electronic driver's test. I'm like. Okay, at the time I was like 16 years old. And so we, we go take it. I, I, I'll go take it. I'm taking it. And as I'm answering the questions, I stop at 21. The answer had, you, the, question, the test has 25 questions. So if you get, if you miss five or six, the, the, the computer will shut off. So I got to 21 and shut off. And it was like, sorry, you have failed the exam. Come back tomorrow. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> I felt like I was doing good. Tamar came. I sat there reading the questions. Got to question number 18. It said, it cut off. Got to question number 18, then cut off. I said, sorry, you have failed the test. Come back tomorrow. I'm like, what? I thought I, I thought I was doing good. So my mama, she was like, son, it's okay. We'll be back tomorrow. She was like, we can come back at however, however long you want to until you pass this test. I said, okay. <laughs> I guess we're coming back tomorrow. And so we went back the next day. Mind you, this is test number three. This is test number three, okay? I get to start, I get to test, I get to taking the test. And I'm taking my time on this one. But I get the question number 22 this time, and then the, 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 then the computer shut off. Sorry you have failed this test. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I cannot be that bad at taking tests. I cannot. There's no possible way I'm this bad at taking tests. Mind you, test number three. That I was at the point in phase of throwing in the towel because I was at test number three and I couldn't get it right and I couldn't pass it. But the thing I did see, the thing I did notice was that I was making progress. And went from, I, I got to 21, okay, I went down to 18, 18 questions, right? Okay, then I went to 22 questions, right? I'm like, oh, okay. I'm starting, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm starting, I'm starting to get comfortable and in, in confident in myself now. So we go back the next day, test number four. Taking it, sit down, I, I start taking it. As I'm taking it, it gets to question number 23, cut off. <sighs> At this point, you know how you scratch your head like, oh my God. You know how you scratch your head like that? Like, this cannot be possible. This cannot be possible. It's possible, okay, I'm just gonna say that it's possible. I, 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 I missed that. No, I failed that test. Sorry you have failed the test. Come back tomorrow. Test number four. At this point, I'm like, I don't want to go back and take the test. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want it no more. It, you got to put me through. You got to put me through all this just to get a test. I don't want it no more. But my mama woke me up the next day. We went. Test number five. I'm, I sit down. I take a deep breath, I start taking it. I start getting the answers correctly. I start being confident. I start, I, I stopped second guessing myself because as I was taking the test, I was second guessing <laughs> prior to four other tests that I took. I was second guessing myself. I was second guessing myself. So I'm like, oh, okay, let me take it. Let me calm down. Let me calm my, my brain down. Let me calm down. Got to answer the question. Got to answer the question. Got the question number 25. And it said, congratulations, you have passed the exam. I said, about time. <laughs> congratulations, you have passed the exam. What is the point of this story? See, the point of this story is that you need to get knocked down so many times until you're able to learn from your mistakes in order to pass the exam for yourself, for your life, for your growth. But you can't pass the exam if you don't know what exam you're taking. If you're not studying behind the scenes in order to work on yourself like you need to learn more about who you are. See, when you start, this is where your answers are presented. You can't keep pushing back what you want to do when you pushing back your, 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 your lessons. You're pushing back your lessons. The best thing to learn from is your experience. Yes, you have a coach that can tell you how to do things at a particular time. Yes, you have somebody over you that's more experienced to show you this is how you do things. Yes, you have somebody that's guiding you along the path. But when you go along your path, you have to go through your own experience and get knocked down and pick yourself back up and do it again and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. Because what's going to happen is that you're building your resiliency up. Resiliency up. See, when you see what you can become after you start, you start believing this is part of the journey. This is part of the, the, the process. This is part of what's making me the person that I am today. I need to go through this. See, what, what, what's happening? When I had the thought back in August of 2020, from August to September 2020, I was going to be a millionaire. I wasn't a millionaire because I didn't, I didn't fail enough. I didn't have the experience. But I did have the belief. I did have the, 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 the dream within myself. But it taught me so much. 
It taught me so much. I tried to skip steps and get to this million dollars. I'm thinking the thought was just going to bring it right in front of me. I tried to skip steps. We as people try to skip steps. But we have to learn what level we are at. Most of us are at level one, which is absolutely okay. Level one is you starting. And level one is you making the decision to go all in on yourself. Level one is saying, I'm going to stop prolonging my journey and it start today. You are at level one because let's look at somebody that's at level 20. <coughs> Excuse me. It's this guy, it's this, this, this phenomenal speaker named Eric Thomas. He said, you can't compare your level one to my level 20. And it was so powerful because it went over a lot of people's heads. But I understood it. And this is why I understood it. Level one is where you're starting at. Level 20 is, where he, is, is the experience that's been built from one through 20 years. <coughs> you can't fake experience. You cannot fake experience. But what you can do is learn from your journey and the lessons that you need to go through in order to gain the experience for you to be comfortable and confident in everything that you're doing. But seeing, but you have to see yourself accomplishing these small tasks before you can believe you can. Why am I saying this? Because belief comes from within. Your success is created from your thoughts. Your thoughts is, cre is, in, is influenced by your environment. What are you working on for yourself? What, are you, what is your goal? What is one goal that you've been wanting to accomplish for so long, but you've been pushing away because you don't think it's the right time? Because today ain't the right time and the right moment for me to even start. What is one goal that you always wanted to do, but never done it because you didn't think you were ready for the journey? Think of this goal. Think of this goal. And as you're thinking of this goal, I want you to write it, take a, take a pen and a piece of paper and write it down on a piece of paper. Now I want you to circle it. Circle the goal that you have been wanting to do, but never started because you didn't think you were good enough. Now circle this goal. Now underneath that, I want you to put a date. I will start today. I will learn more about this today. I will try to be my best today. I will give effort to the goal that I don't know how to accomplish by trying and starting. I will accomplish this goal to the best of my ability. Why, why, why are you even saying this? You're saying this because you are starting to believe that you see, you are starting to see yourself accomplish this goal because you believe in the process. You believe in the journey and you believe in yourself. But what's happening is that we forget that confident, confidence is built over time once you gain the experience. You're at level one trying to be a level 20, but your level 20 has multiple years ahead of you. Your level 20 has been doing what you have been trying to do for a long time. There's a process to this journey and your journey is what's going to help you connect with more people. It's going to help you learn the lessons that you need to learn in order to start growing more. But you have to see yourself accomplishing these things just in your mind to believe that it can come to reality.